to the stage, man, oh, all over the world, man, ladies and gentlemen. Originally resides in Toronto, Canada, man, then he went to Springfield, Massachusetts, and now he's living here, Brooklyn, New York, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, clap your hands. Show a lot of love for the comedy styles of my man, John Moses. Y'all can do better than that. Come on, clap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to let you know before I uh, before I get into my set here, some of the things I'm going to be saying here may offend some of the ladies that are sitting in the audience, but I want you to remember, these are only jokes, and no matter what you hear here tonight, it's not going to be half as bad as what your children are downloading off the internet while the babysitter smokes weed and gets fucked on your favorite comforter, so enjoy yourselves while you're here. And watch out for the wet spot when you go home tonight. <laughs> How you guys doing? Good, good, good. Let me ask you guys a question right here. Would you ever have sex with a white guy? <laughs> right? Because they know that together we can make a present. <laughs> when you got no money. You see, I'll ask you out, but I won't take you out. <laughs> I'll call you 25 minutes before I'm supposed to pick you up. I'll be like, listen, I just got out of work. I'm not going to be able to make it. You're like, oh, shit, John, I'm already on my way. I'm like, oh. I got a better idea. Right wait a second, wait a second. Come around to my house. I'll cook you some dinner. We'll watch Dancing with the Stars. Right? I know you guys like Dancing with the Stars. why you can't spend the night, right? <laughs> so I said, are you coming? She goes, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to come. I said, good, good, good. I said, uh, you got a pen? She goes, uh-huh. Sure. I said, write this down. I'm going to need you to pick up a couple of things from the grocery store. <laughs> I'm going to need a chicken, potatoes, green beans, Pepsi, bread, butter, bananas, toilet paper, unless you think you can hold it. Me, I don't shit that I go to work in the morning. Smooth, right? But you gotta be creative. I got no money to take this beautiful chick where at the library, right? She turns to me, she goes, you know what, John? I have never had so much fun on a date doing nothing before. I said, baby, get used to it. When you're with me, nothing is all we do. Nothing and a little bit of bucket. That's it, right? So I said, what about you? What do you want, man? She goes, honestly, I just want someone I can come home to. Someone I can build a life with. She goes, oh, if you can help me go back to college, that would be nice. <laughs> help you go back to college? What, do you need me to pick you up after class or something? <laughs> she goes, no, 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 I need you to help pay for me to go back to college. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. If I'm helping you, who's helping me? <laughs> and then it dawns on me, we need to find this guy together. <laughs> Oh, man. We got a 
single mothers here tonight, single mothers? <laughs> Nobody ever puts their hands up. <laughs> well, round of applause for the single mothers who are here. And tell you that I am amazed at what they do before 9 o'clock. They gotta get up, get themselves ready, get the kids up, make breakfast, make a lunch, drop them to school, go to work, get a parking spot. You know what I've done before 9 o'clock? taking a piss. <laughs> and then I go back to bed. <laughs> I date single mothers, man. Right up until they want me to meet their kids. And then I'm like, hey, I gotta, I gotta cut out of here. Because I know she's gonna want me to start doing things for these kids, right? She's gonna want me to do everything except discipline those kids. Because nobody hits my son. That's the problem, lady. Nobody hits this kid. <laughs> They get comfortable. They're not going anywhere for a 
your stranger asshole? Phone number. I'm 